classic clickety clacks and vintage EMD and Alco noise that made the gypsum train on the northwest coast of the Air Peninsula special has come to an end. Horizon's takeover of One Rail Australia in 2022 has led to the isolated narrow gauge railway getting a new look, with ex Queensland Railways 2300 class locomotives moving in, with more horsepower than the previously used locomotives. The track has also seen an upgrade, with high-grade rails installed and welds put in place to make for faster transit speeds, higher axle loads and less disruptions during the summer months. The isolated railway is a part of the Air Peninsula's Port Lincoln division which for over a century has stretched around the peninsula making up five different lines and for 15 years between 1950 and 1965 777 kilometres of narrow gauge track. Since 2019 the network has been primarily disused with no grain traffic using the network anymore. With this line between Thebanard and the Gypsum Resources Australia mine around 10 kilometres southeast of Penang, the only active part of the network. The mine sits on a deposit of around 500 to 700 million tonnes of gypsum over an area of 87 square kilometres and has been operating for over a century since 1919 with rail haulage beginning in 1950 with the siding at the mine named Kevin. On the morning of April 17th, 2023, the first return loaded gypsum train of the day, running as 2DD2, makes its way past Chara, with locomotive 2364D leading 2332D. The line between the mine at Kevin and the port at Thebanard didn't always operate on this track, with the original track to Penong used by Calambi instead. It was only in 1966 that the more direct route was opened with a lesser ruling grade of 1 in 20 and significant operational savings for the railways and the mine. Next up, we see the loaded gypsum train climbing towards the highest point on the line, between Chara and Mool. Both sidings at Chara and Mall these days are dead end sidings, with only one operational train rake on the line. 
Grain trains last operated on the line in 1997 and therefore loops at Chara and Mall haven't been required since the gypsum train was combined into one longer and heavier train. The two V12 EMDs work the grade through Mall, which was once used for the loading of ballast onto trains during the construction of the line. Just east of Sejuna's township at Penong Junction, the loaded gypsum train climbs the grade towards the Air Highway level crossing. The junction has been unused since 2019 when the last light engine movement arrived from Port Lincoln. Until 2019, light engines ran every so often in transfer from Port Lincoln workshops, with grain trains ceasing to operate on the line to Woodna from 2005. The port at Thebanard is responsible for the loading of ships with several commodities, including mineral sands, grain, salt, and of course, gypsum. Gypsum is mostly shipped around Australia to Sydney, where it's processed further. After countless failures of the older horsepower operating on these trains, new owners arising took the opportunity to bring in two locomotives from their Queensland narrow gauge operations of 2332D and 2364D. These locomotives are rebuilds of the 2400 and 2450 class locomotives, originally brought into service back in the late 1970s and have more to offer than the ageing fleet of 1960s locomotives previously used to haul the train. The ex-Commonwealth Railways, South Australian Railways and Western Australian Government Railways locomotives have yet to have their futures fully decided, with units 1601, 906, 851 and 1203 operating the train last on April 13, 2023 and are still available for use. It's been rumoured that of the old horsepower 1601, 1606 and 1203 will remain as backup power 
while all other units will be withdrawn. North of Sejuna, after unloading was completed, empty train 2DD3 powers upgrade towards Kevin with the second run of the gypsum train for the day.